Well, I've seen one a couple of houses already. Those families, they, they just uh -huh. can't wait to get their Christmas lights There's up. There's a couple in my neighborhood. Omaha's biggest display will brighten downtown in less than a week on Thanksgiving night. And guess who gets to flip that switch right there? Mayor Jean Stothard, who's here to preview the Holiday Lights Festival. Good to see you, Mayor. Good to see you, too. Good I can't you. wait for Thanksgiving. If oh, you recall, it's... last year we canceled it because of right. ice. And we had to postpone it till Saturday, but we That's still right. had it. You still so. pulled it off, but there's a little bit of a change this year. Let's start yes. with the uh, the, the new, new location for the ice rink. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's going to be temporarily just for one year. It's going to be on the southeast corner of 10th and Capitol just this year. And then it's going to move to a new permanent location, and that is at the Capitol District, yeah. which is oh. Mike Moylan and Shamrock's new development mm -hmm. that's going on right across the street from CenturyLink. They are going to have a common area in the front, and they're going to have a permanent ice rink there. So it will be there every year from now on. And that'll on. be beautiful. I've seen some of the, the, the renderings. It, it looks beautiful. It will be beautiful. And, you know, we invite everybody down. The ice rink this year will open on the 9th of December. Mm -hmm. It'll be open every day from 1 until 10 o'clock, and that's, thir that's Thursday through Sunday. Mm -hmm. Or No, I'm sorry. Friday and Saturday, it's 1 till midnight, and then sat Sunday through Thursday, it will be 1 until 10 p.m. But it's only $5 to get in. It includes the skates, and the proceeds go to the Shine the Light on Hunger campaign to benefit the Food Bank of the Heartland. And so it's really good cause to go down there. They are hoping to get 1.4 million meals this year. Wow, that's incredible. Incredible impact. And it mm -hmm. starts on December 9th, runs through January right. 2nd. We can see on the screen right there. Uh, Thanksgiving lighting ceremony. Yes. This is where you flip so the switch, much fun. right? It is always so much fun. And uh, I make sure that the Parks uh, Department has tested those lights several <laughs> times. We don't want one of those <laughs> no. Chevy Chase uh, right. scenes down there. But it is so beautiful. And, we, you know, we start working on that in the summer. We raise a lot of money for that. There's a lot of donations that go in to that but we invite everybody down there we'll do the countdown at six o'clock we'll sw uh, flip the switch and turn the lights on and then there will be a concert at the mm -hmm. holland and it's a free concert and it starts at seven o'clock so it's really a great way for the whole family to come in and kick the holiday season off what is that like just coming down there after having that thanksgiving meal for families who haven't maybe come down before to mm -hmm. see it i bet it really just lights up the season it does and i think for a lot of people it's just a tradition you mm -hmm. know to have their dinner and come down there and watch the lights um, I love to cook, so I have my dinner after we turn the lights on. But I, a lot of people come down just because they, I think it really feels like this is the start of the mm -hmm. season, and when they see the lights downtown, um, it's really beautiful. So there's a lot of events going on downtown during this whole holiday season, and we really encourage people to come down. It's going to be really pretty. Before you came to the Morning Blend here, mm -hmm. you went over to some of our partners at Star 104.5. I certainly did. And you <laughs> kicked off the holiday music this morning, didn't you? I did. They went all holiday music I even today. sang a little bit. They told oh, me to keep wow. my day job, what? so no What'd more. What did you sing? It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Mm -hmm. So, and, and Johnny Mathis just came on <laughs> suddenly, magically, after it. I and took it that. over. Uh -huh. <laughs> I know, but that's always fun to do that with them, too. Their, their studio's all decorated today yeah. in Christmas lights. Yeah, they're definitely in the spirit over there. Uh, yes. What are your plans for Thanksgiving? You know, I love cooking. Uh, people ask me all the time, do I eat out all the time? And I don't. I'd much rather come home and cook something. And so I will cook. It Usually my kids, I have two children, Elizabeth and Andrew. They're usually at Thanksgiving mm -hmm. with me. Um, they're both married and living in Washington, D.C. Mm -hmm. My daughter won't make it this year but she's coming today so oh. she'll be here this weekend so we'll get to celebrate this weekend and then I will cook a traditional Thanksgiving dinner I love doing it I love cooking well and the so that's what I'm gonna do yeah. cooler and a little bit more festive today well so it, it certainly seems that way today <laughs> it's a lot it's cold and blustery and I think it's putting everybody in the in the Christmas it, spirit it too. definitely took a turn mm -hmm. didn't it let's yes, talk it about did. the Wells Fargo uh, holiday festival yes Can you give us a little bit of information about there's that? a lot of events that go on downtown um, they're all over downtown from the horse barn there's a lot of things uh, that the police take part in mm -hmm. the children's Museum. There's a lot of events downtown. You can see a whole list of things on the on their website, mm -hmm. HolidayLightsFestival.org. But Ollie the Trolley will be moving around downtown. That occurs on Sunday afternoon. So a lot more events that will occur on the on, all during the weekend and just a lot of things for families and, and people to do to come downtown. Well, we've covered a lot of the events during the Holiday mm -hmm. Lights Festival. Um, this whole thing supports the Shine a Light on Hunger campaign, Absolutely. which is super important for the city. Can you talk a little bit about that for us? Yes, and you know, um, like the, the cost to, to skate, it includes the skates, it's $5, but it is to benefit the, the Food Bank for the Heartland, and they work so very hard, and it's such a good project they have. There are so many that are in need in our community. And their goal, their goal is 1.4 million meals again mm -hmm. this year. Wow. And so it's, it's really a good event, but it really has a cause too. 
And so we're proud to be a partner with them. Like I said, we start, I start helping them raise money in the summer because it is so important. Yeah. And so uh, hopefully people will come down mm -hmm. and join the ice rink. I'm going to be down there. You might not see me skating. Be careful, please. <laughs> I, I, I don't want to <laughs> fall again. And, um, but uh, people seem to really love coming down mm -hmm. there. And I'm so happy that now we have a new permanent spot, too, mm -hmm. in the Capitol District. Yeah. I think it's going to be beautiful, and it's going to really um, light up downtown when they yeah. do it. So. I can't well, wait. You brought it up, the fall. So i got to ask you, how are you feeling? Because what, what happened? <laughs> what exactly I, happened there? I, boy, I tell you, I fell, and I took a hard fall. I was out in my backyard standing on wet grass, mm -hmm. but I had about 100 pounds of dog on two leash, two dogs uh -huh. on a leash in my right hand. And I wasn't paying attention. I was looking down at my older dog. And a dog came running towards them, not on a leash. So they took off, and I wasn't prepared. Grabbed you. And I slipped, and, and my feet went up, and I fell really hard. Mm. So I fractured my vertebrae. I fractured L1, yeah. and it's called a burst fracture, so the bone splintered, mm. and it kind of compressed down. Are you feeling okay? So, mm. uh, yeah, I, you know, it was pretty painful for about the first four weeks, but... I was wearing a back brace for about seven weeks, but mm -hmm. I'm out of that. I'm doing physical therapy. I, it's a little stiff, but otherwise yeah. I'm happy. I'm up walking around and I'm working right. and ready seven days a week. Ready to flip the switch. We are glad I'm you're ready okay. to flip the switch, <laughs> yes, and ready for the holiday. So things are going fine. Yeah, you know, I'm right. lucky it wasn't worse and, and I'm healing up, so that's fine. They did tell me I'd probably be about a half an inch to an inch shorter. <laughs> right. oh, I know it. And I said, well, I don't want to be a half an inch no. to an inch shorter. Get some but higher that's heels. That's the way it is. I'll wear higher heels. Yeah, that's right. HolidayLightsFestival.org is a website. You can go to to find out all this information. Mayor, mm -hmm. thanks for stopping by. You bet. My pleasure. So we appreciate much. your time. Merry Christmas. Uh, if you Thank haven't shopped you. better than retail,